question three, we're asked to uh, evaluate whether or not reducing the population limit um, or reducing our use of coal uh, has a bigger effect on emissions, again, in the year 2100. So right here, I have the standard control case in blue. That was, this is from question number one. And then also question number one is this magenta curve. This shows what would happen if we reduced coal uh, according to the parameter set up here. Now, we want to turn that switch off and instead adjust the population limit so that it's 10. So I move that knob until I see a 10 appear there. Then I can run the model again. Now we're not going to change our, the proportions of fossil fuels that we're already using. The only thing that's going to change here is what the total population is. And we'll see what the effect is. And we run the model and we see, okay, here in this case in the year 2100, the emissions are much closer to the kind of business as usual do nothing scenario here and quite a bit more than uh, the emissions that uh, resulted from uh, reducing our use of coal. So in this case, reducing the fossil fuels has a much bigger impact on emissions than reducing the population. Now you could lower the population even more. What if we dropped it all the way down to seven point something and we ran it again? We'd see that it, yeah, you see a further reduction in the emissions, but it's still above what you have for um, the reduction of coal in this case.